Almost all cancers can be treated by lumpectomy, depending on the cancer size and the size of the breast that the cancer lives in. Uh, as you could imagine, a large breast cancer in a small breast, uh, you just will not be able to take that cancer out and leave the patient with a good cosmetic result. So basically, if we can get out the mass or the cancer and we can leave the patient with a good cosmetic result, that is a candidate for lumpectomy. Sometimes it can be very difficult to decide whether a lumpectomy is better for a patient or a mastectomy. We typically offer lumpectomy when we can tell the patient that their outcome will be the same, that their recurrence and their survival will be the same whether they have lumpectomy or mastectomy. For patients who have multiple cancers in one breast, we, we really cannot do multiple lumpectomies and leave a good cosmetic result. So anytime there's more than one cancer in the breast, mastectomy is really the best option. There are also patients who do not want to undergo radiation after lumpectomy, which is needed to achieve the same recurrence rate. For patients who cannot make it to radiation treatments on a routine basis, mastectomy tends to be their best option. Lumpectomies typically aren't that uh, cosmetically displeasing. In other words, what we try to do is remove the bad tissue and leave the good tissue. We close our incisions very meticulously by putting all stitches under the skin so that it heals with a, a much nicer uh, scar. Uh, typically, if we're going to take out enough tissue that's really going to alter the breast to a great extent, we recommend mastectomy for that patient. Lumpectomies are not that uncomfortable. Uh, they're not that painful. Uh, patients take very little pain medicine after lumpectomy. We typically recommend more uh, ice pack usage and also something like ibuprofen. Uh, most patients take pain medicine for one to two days, but they really go back to doing whatever they want to the next day. Most patients will notice a little bit of swelling uh, after a lumpectomy. If they look at the incision, uh, they'll see a nice smooth line that goes straight across where the cancer was taken out. Some patients have a little bit of bruising, but most patients really don't notice that much of an indentation or a defect. 